In Video AI, the application that allows you to create a video just from a text prompt now has voice cloning. Let's try it out. Inside NVIDIA AI, we're just going to come up to the hamburger menu, click Voices, which is underneath Plugins, and it says you can create a digital clone of your voice by uploading your voice recording here. We will add voice, and it says submit a recording of at least 30 seconds, mention this line that gives it permission, uh, pause in between sentences like you, like you normally would, and use high-quality recording equipment. Okay, sounds good. And we can drag or choose from there. I happen to have a file ready right here, so I'm going to just drag that in. Let's see, 93 second. Okay, this is my voice. I have the rights to it. It includes the permission, and it includes natural pauses. I don't know if I included filler words. Recorded using high-quality equipment. Well, it's recorded using what I got, whether you call it high-quality or not. All right, and it shows us a transcript of what we said in the sample video. In this case, I used just a sample script. I think I got it from 11 Labs. So let's say done, because that all looks right. Looks like it understood what I was saying. And it's calling it user's voice, voice one user's voice. I think I would like to rename that and name it me, Bob, so I know who it is. All right, and then we will say use. All right, so it filled in the prompt box. This is the big open prompt box where there aren't any workflow settings in here but it filled it in with settings one, use my voice, but I'd rather work in one of the workflows. So I'm gonna just come down here and click YouTube explainer. And I'm gonna say, create a, let's just say a one minute uh, YouTube video about, for the topic I said, things to do and see in Baltimore, Maryland. And then for the optional creative directives, I'm gonna say, make it casual and include some humor. We'll see how it does with that. Under these voice options, where you normally would pick the gender and then the style, I'm going to click this option that says my voice. And then, of course, the only option is the one I just cloned, which is that one. And we can leave subtitles on, uh, watermark text, and use iStock. That's fine. And you see it put that back in this main prompt box. So it just took all those settings we selected and said, create a one-minute YouTube video about things to see and do in Baltimore, Maryland, make it casual, and include some humor. Settings, use my voice one dash Bob. All right, so that's good to know for future reference. If you just want to work in the main prompt box, this is pretty much how you could set it up. And now we'll say generate video. All right, now it came up with these other options to choose from, and this is the box that usually confuses me. Who's your audience, travel enthusiasts, Maryland locals, or humor lovers? Oh, that is a tough pick. I'm curious what it would do with humor lovers and Maryland locals. Hmm. All right, we're going to leave it with travel enthusiasts, and I'm going to pick professional over here for the look and feel. I, I told you before, I don't really understand the difference between these. The audience I get, the platform I get, the look and feel, very confusing to me. They all seem very similar. I don't know the distinction. And we'll say continue. Ah, Baltimore, Maryland, Charm City, home of the legendary Orioles, and let's not forget those mouth-watering crab cakes. First stop, the Inner Harbor, a bustling waterfront filled with shops, restaurants, and historic ships. Don't drop your wallet in the water, though. Those crabs have a taste for leather. Next, we swing by the National Aquarium. Ever wanted to see a shark without becoming lunch? Here's your chance. Just remember, no petting. Let's not forget about the American Visionary Art Museum. It's like stepping into a Salvador Dali painting, minus the melting clocks. Lastly, for the sports fans, a trip to Oriole Park at Camden Yards is a must. You might not catch a fly ball, but you'll definitely catch the spirit of Baltimore. So, there you have it. Baltimore, Maryland. More than just a city, it's an experience. Pack your bags, but leave your crab crackers at home. They've got plenty. That voice clone really does sound a lot like me, especially coming from a 93 second clip. I do wonder if it might make more sense that I used a sample that was a little bit more conversational, that wasn't scripted, that maybe would have an um or an uh or some of my weird hesitations in there. Maybe I should just upload this as a voice sample. The voice clone generated words that were fairly precise. It was definitely my tone and whatnot. That sounded really good. Not perfect. No, absolutely not. But I've cloned my voice on a whole bunch of programs making all these videos, and that one's way better than I expected. I do not believe that in video AI or any of these other AI generative video makers are a click it and done kind of thing. I believe that you definitely need to go back and edit and make some changes. I saw some things there that I would want to change as far as the stock video selections, 
I would want some pretty specific things. It didn't do a terrible job. I appreciate that it was showing me pictures of Baltimore and things in Baltimore. Uh, the crab references were pretty funny. I thought its humor was actually good this time. And AI really stinks at humor a lot of times. So if we want to make changes, I'm not going to get heavy into this because I've talked about it in other videos. When you just click that edit button, and if you want to swap out any of this media, you can click it. You see where it's being played, what words it's being played over. And if you want something different, you can type it down in the search box. And if you spell it right, it'll do a better job. And then come down here and pick whatever image you want. Click it, it'll replace. You can see up there it's going over top of it. Say apply changes. And that will change the video on that particular scene. And there it is. If there's something about the script you want to change, click this edit button under the video, go over to edit script, and you can change whatever you like about that section of the script. And your titles and text overlays and all that are right over here on the right hand side. You can change those as well. If you don't want to edit things manually or one by one, you can use this little AI command line to tell it specific things you want it to do, like delete the second scene, it's not really relevant, or change current stock to a video drone shot of a forest. I wouldn't want to do that because we're talking about Baltimore, but it gives you an example of some of the things that you can do. I've had mixed results with the AI instructions here, so I prefer to just hit the edit button and go swap things out specifically to fine tune it the way I want it to be. You can also, of course, generate your video by providing it with a URL of some place to specific that you want it to reference, or you can provide your own script and say, use exactly this script. To use the voice cloning, it does require the plus plan or above. You won't get this on free. It has to be plus, which starts at $20 a month, which looks like it gives you two voice clones. And then for the max plan, you get five voice clones. I'm excited to see that two voice clones deal because that means I can maybe I can add another one that, uh, to test out my conversational theory and see how that works out without having to delete this one that really sounded pretty good. If you just want to try it for a month and not commit to a whole year, you can switch this to monthly and they don't really gouge you for trying a month. So it's 25 bucks instead of 20 bucks a month. But that's good to try it for a month and see, you know, if you can produce some stuff out of it if you like it. If you've tried the voice clone thing here in NVIDIA AI, please let me know how it's working, what you're seeing and what you're finding. Please, if you're going to pick up one of these tools and make an AI-generated video, make it right. If you know the subject matter of the video you're making, please read the script, listen to the video once it's done creating, and make sure it's accurate. And if you don't know the subject matter, look up some things, do a little research, make sure it's right. Let's not put out garbage. Thanks for watching.